In this video, I would demonstrate how to create a corridor using OpenRose Designer Connect Edition. If you're accustomed to creating corridors with Select Series 3 and Select Series 4, the process is going to be basically the same. If you're accustomed to Select Series 2, Roadway Designer, the concept is the same, but the process is going to be just a bit different. I'm working in my geometry file, and the first thing we're going to do is attach my terrain. You may choose to work in a corridor file and reference both your geometry and your terrain, but I'm going to create my corridor in my geometry file. The first thing I'm going to do after referencing my terrain, I'm going to select my terrain. Once I do so, I'm going to get a context menu here. I'm going to select Set as Active. In creating my corridor, we want to make sure that our workflow is set to Open Roads Modeling. I'm going to select my alignment, and within my context menu, I'm going to select Open Profile Model. Notice that I have a prompt in my lower left corner to select or open view. So I'm going to select view 2. And I'm just going to place a data point here. Now if I hover over my terrain, I see that my uh, active terrain is a terrain exterior. And my active profile is London Road, which reflects my alignment here, London Road. For my Open Roads Modeling Categories, I'm going to select Corridors. And I'm going to navigate to the Create section and select New Corridor. Note within the command, the name is set to Corridor, but we have a prompt to locate a corridor baseline in our lower left corner. So I'm going to select my alignment, which is London Road, and I'm going to Reset for Active. And note once I select my alignment, my na name is actually changed to London Road to reflect the alignment. I'm now going to left click and my corridor is placed. My template is already set to two lane. I'm just going to select the Browse button here. That's going to open my template library. And I do want the two-lane template. If I wanted a different template, once again, just select the Browse button and navigate to the desired template. I'm going to left-click in my plan view and have a prompt to select my start station. I want to begin my corridor template drop at the beginning of my alignment. And my end station, I'm just going to select a station at random here. My interval for my template drop is set to 25. If I want to change that to maybe 10, we can do so. And just left click. And my corridor has been created. I'm now going to right click out of my create corridor command. I'm going to zoom in just a bit to my corridor and I'm just going to select my corridor handler. And when I do so, I'm going to get my context menu and I'm going to select my corridor creation tool and my corridor objects. Within corridor objects, we can review our template drops. We can review the secondary alignments key station, parametric constraints, point controls, curve widening, in condition exceptions, external reference, and clipping reference. I'm going to left click on my template. And I'm going to select my browse button. That's going to open my template library. And remember, we selected the two lane template. After creating my corridor, 
let's say I wanted to change my two lane template to a divided four lane. Select my template, select apply. And note that template was applied to my corridor. I'm going to revert back to my two lane template. My corridor now reflects that change.